Okay, so we're going to do another fruit review. And today's fruit review is going to be on the Melon Up. What it is, is it's a small watermelon. And I figured I'd do a review on this because normally I don't buy watermelons until later in the season where a lot of the local farmers harvest the melons and bring them in. And I usually like those kind of melons more than the round seedless melons because those melons, in order for them to get those melons to mature really fast, they spray them with a certain chemical and they can harvest them early and it keeps ripening or something and it's really bad for you that chemical so I try to avoid those melons for that reason but when they bring in local melons like they buy them locally when they're when there's enough of them available uh, they are relatively pretty cost effective and they're pretty good you know I mean I, those you can tell when you're eating a good melon like that because it's very rich in flavor it's not mushy it's not unripened it's perfect you know and that's from uh you know the locally grown melons so anyway this is the uh melon up i guess that's what it's called <clears throat> and that's what it says let's throw that out and so you can see the size of the melon to my hand it's you know it's relatively pretty small. It's about the size of a soccer ball, maybe a little smaller than a soccer ball. So it's not a very big melon. So what we'll do is we'll cut it open and we'll cut a slice out and we'll give it a taste test. Okay, so we cut it open and I did cut out a slice and I'm just look, showing you the inside of it. It's basically a seedless melon. Again, they pick these melons early so sort they're of seedless, but in general, uh, they will seed if you, uh, any melon will seed if you let them sit long enough on a vine, but again, they spray this ripening uh, agent on there that causes them to ripen early, and then that's how you get your seedless melons, but that agent is not good for you. So anyway, that's what it looks like in the middle. It looks pretty good to me. Now, I had bought one of these melons like a week ago. I was going to do a review on it, and I left it on my countertop over here. And I didn't get to it that day, so I was going to have it either the next day or the day after, but I didn't put it in the fridge. Well, the next day when I went up there, the melon was already mushy, and it was dripping out onto my countertop and going onto the floor already. It literally went from a solid melon like this into a mushy mashed melon within one day. So my recommendation to you is if you do get this melon, you have to put it in the refrigerator. They're not like, you know, cantaloupe or honeydew. These watermelons have to be refrigerated. That's another reason why I was interested in this melon is because it's smaller. And whenever I have to buy those big melons, well, I pretty much got to empty out my entire refrigerator to go and fit one of these melons in there. And it's a real pain in the neck. And I don't really want to eat melon for like the next five days because that's about how long it takes to actually eat one. So I like the little melons because I could eat this in the next day or two and I'm good to go. So let's give this a bite and see what it tastes like. Tastes like watermelon. It's not real firm and it's not real soft, but it, it has a nice watermelon flavor. Really got no complaints. There's nothing no awkward about it. Uh, sometimes when you eat melons, or you buy a melon, they sometimes get an awkward taste to it because the inside's starting to overripen. and your melons ripen, once they're ripen on a vine and you remove it from the vine, you only have a few days before you have to eat it, really. After that, it starts to break down, the melon. And I don't like to taste the melons when they're getting into that stage. To me, that's an awkward taste. But a lot of times when you go to the store and you buy melon, uh, you'll see that effect inside the melon. You cut it open and you'll see a lot of fissures in there. Those fissures are usually caused by them slamming, throwing the melons into a truck and it, they break. And once they get that fissure in it, they break down even more. I don't like to offset taste on it. If you've ever eaten watermelon that was fresh picked from the vine, cut, refrigerated for an hour or two to get it cold, and then eaten, you'll know what I'm talking about. That is the best melon you can get. But I'm going to be honest with you. This really isn't bad for a little melon. I could easily eat one half of it for breakfast, and that, that would be good for me. 
Yeah, it has a very nice taste to it. Let me take one more bite. Nice and juicy. You barely got to chew it. It just breaks right up as soon as you bite it. And the rind is pretty thin on it, so you don't have to worry too much about the rind. But you could see like over here, you see how it's got that off color on the bottom? Part of that is due from throwing the melons around. So when they chuck these melons into the truck and everything, they, you know, they get damaged. And that's what causes the melons to not taste so good, you know, much quicker. Yeah, I guess that's it. That's just a quick melon review on this little small, I forgot what it was called, something melon, whatever it was. Um, yeah, give this uh, melon a try. It's definitely worth it. If you're not somebody who wants to buy a, you know, 30-pound watermelon and try to fit it in your refrigerator, you just want something small, but you don't want to buy those cut pieces of melon in the store because the cut pieces, sometimes they have recalls because of E. coli breakout, so I never buy cut pieces of watermelon for that reason. I'd rather buy a whole melon, eat, you know, cut up and eat half of it and either throw out the other half or whatever, but... I'd rather buy a whole melon than cut melon for that reason, but this is a nice small little melon and you could easily uh, cut this up and put it right back in your fridge. You should be good for a day or two. All right, so don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.